When you're collecting transfer, it can be a very expensive proposition. Um, investing um, your money wisely is the best recommendation I can have for you. Buying the best pieces that you can possibly afford is your best route um, because these pieces can be very expensive. So I'll try to give you a range here in prices so it can give you uh, something to think about when you're making your choices as far as what color range or what type of dinnerware you want to try to collect. So if we look over here, this is historical, this is historical blue. Um, this pattern um, is very typical with the florals around the edging. Um, it has a, a foreign um, uh, temple and camels, which is um, in, in this country not the highly sought after historical blue. Um, people in this country who collect historical blue like to collect blue um, with historical scenes that depict things that happen in this country. So if you're looking to collect historical blue, think about the, um, the, the picture that it's depicting and the, the person, the, the, the company that produced these, also condition. But these plates can range anywhere from $100 to three to four to $5,000. So um, there is a wide range of investment in this, in this historical blue. Um, going on to flow blue, there's a wide range also in collecting this um, flow blue from the 1820s. It's um, this particular cup and saucer, because it's in um, almost mint condition, can go for around $125. Um, that's just the cup and saucer. When you start to talk about the plates, um, plates can range anywhere from one to, to 500 to 600 and up on the flow blue, depending on the pattern, the condition, um, uh, and um, how much you really want the plate or the dish. So you need to take that into consideration. Flow blue can be very expensive. If you try to buy a platter this size in flow blue, um, your range will be anywhere from three to 600, depending on what the scene is and the condition. So that, when you start to think about collecting a set, can be very expensive.